Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we'll create this uh, flip animation where when we hover over any of these uh, team members, we can see their name and their social media handles. And uh, this design can be really useful for you if you want to display your team members on your website. So let's get started. <laughs> So here I have opened up my project in uh, VS Code. I have a folder called IMG and uh, there are some images over here. And there are also some SVGs for our social media icons. Right, so let's get started by creating our index.html file. And uh, we'll also create our style.css file. Alright, let's start with the HTML and in VS Code you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this uh, HTML5 boilerplate. We'll just type team members over here. Alright, the first thing we'll do is create a container division. So we'll create a division with a class of container and in that we'll create a division to contain each person. So person container and in that we'll create a division called person. And in that we will have two divisions front and back. And in the front division we need to have the image. So he will type IMG SRC and uh, the name of the image. And now in the back division uh, we need to have an H1 for displaying their name. And here we will insert the social media icons. So we'll create an anchor tag. And uh, here we will type img slash facebook.svg. And we'll just copy this two more times. And, uh, and here we'll type LinkedIn and uh, GitHub. And after this person division ends right here, we'll create another division called designation. And uh, he will have an H2 and we'll type manager. Alright, so this is our first person. So let's go ahead and uh, view it in our browser. So here we can see the image, the name, social media icons and uh, the designation. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll just copy this person container three more times. Alright, now we will change the images and uh, the name. So the first person is Alina, the second person uh, is uh, John and uh, in the H1 we will type John and for the designation he is a tech lead and then the third person is Sarah. And the designation is software engineer and the fourth person is Dan and uh, he's also a software engineer all right so these are our images and uh, the description so that's basically it with the HTML now the last thing we'll do is uh, we will add our link to the style.css file. Now let's go ahead and start styling our page. So first of all we'll create a universal selector and uh, here we will remove all the margins and we'll also set the box sizing to border box. And for the body we will give it a font family of Roboto slab and uh, serif and now we'll style the h2 and for the h2 we'll give it a font size of 16 pixels and a font weight of normal padding of 8 pixels background of 141414 border left of uh, 16 pixels solid red and uh, the color of the text to white and margin of 24 pixels and 0 I will style the person container and for that we will have a padding of 32 pixels, display of flex, 
flex direction of column and uh, justify content to the center and uh, now we'll style the person division and uh, we'll give it a width of 200 pixels height of 200 pixels and uh, position to relative all right now we'll set the maximum width of the image to 100 percent now we'll style the front division inside person so person front and uh, here we will type border radius of 50 percent height of 100 percent and overflow of hidden so we have this round shape for our images and now we'll style the back and uh, here we will set the position to absolute so this position will be relative to the person division because this is uh, the parent element and uh, we'll type top 0 and we'll give it a height of 200 pixels and a width of 200 pixels background color of white display of flex and uh, flex direction to column and align items to the center and justify content to the center and uh, we'll also give it a border radius of 50% and we'll give it a box shadow of 0 pixels 0 pixels 50 pixels 2 pixels and RGBA 0 0 0 and uh, 0 0.1 now initially we want the back division to be rotated so we'll type transform rotate y and uh, here we'll type minus 180 degree so here we can see our division is rotated but we don't want it to be visible right now so we can use a property called back face visibility and we will set it to hidden so now the back face of our division will not be seen so now if you set it to 0 degree then it will be visible but if you set it to 180 degree it won't be visible because we have hidden the back face visibility and we'll also add a transition of 0 0.8 seconds so that when we rotate it we will have a smooth transition now we'll add some styling to the container division because we want each of the person divisions to be side by side and uh, right now it is all in one line vertically so let's go up here and uh, here we will type container and uh, we'll give it a background color of light gray and uh, display of flex and we also have to set the flex wrap so now it wraps correctly and we'll also set the height to 100 viewport height and uh, justify content to the center and uh, we'll also add a transition to the person front division so here we will type transition of all to 0 0.8 seconds and we'll also add a perspective property to make it look a more like 3d space all right now we'll style the hover so we'll type person hover and when the person division is hovered we want these styles to be applied to the front division so we want to basically rotate the division so we'll tap transform rotate y and uh, we will give 180 degrees so now if we hover over this we can see that it is being rotated but uh, we can also see the back face of uh, this front division so we will go to the front over here and uh, we will hide the back face visibility over here as well all right so now if you hover over this we can see that the back face is not visible now the last thing to do is when we hover we want the back division to have a rotation of zero degrees so here we'll type person hover back and uh, transform rotate y and we'll type 0 degrees over here All right now if we hover over this we can see our back division is visible and uh, this works for all our uh, divisions
Now we'll also give a little bit of styling to the social media icons. So we'll type social IMG and uh, we'll give it a margin of 8 pixels and a height of 24 pixels. Now everything is alright but we have a slight problem over here. When we go to the original design and if we hover over the image then we can see the details. But in our design if we hover over the designation we can see that it rotates as well. So if you want this behavior then you can leave it like this. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, make some changes to the HTML. So if you go to the HTML and if you fold the person division we can see that the designation is also inside the person so we have to remove it and uh, we have to paste it outside the person division so we'll paste it over here so we'll do the same for all our divisions so we'll just cut this from here and paste it over here alright so now let's test it so we don't have any hover over here and when we hover over the image we have the flip animation. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.